In this video, you will learn how to navigate between screens in Flutter app using Auto Route Package. We will be using this Auto Route Package that you can find in pub.dev. Auto Route is a declarative routing solution where everything needed for navigation is automatically generated for you. Not only that, we will be using another two packages which are Auto Route Generator and Build Runner. Coming to your Flutter project pubspec.yaml file, add auto route package under dependencies, while add build runner and auto route generator package under dev dependencies. Now, coming back to our main code, firstly, I will be creating a new file called route.dat. This file mainly handles all the routing configurations. In this file, I will create an app router class that extends underscore dollar app router. In this class, I will create a get method that returns a list of auto route. Don't forget to import the auto route package. This method is an overridden method, so add the override annotation above the method. Now you might wonder what is this underscore dollar app router and its having compilation error. This is because as I mentioned earlier, everything in auto route is automatically generated. Hence, this underscore dollar app router class is not generated yet, which causes the compilation error. Now, in order to generate code for this app router class, we have to add two things. Firstly, add auto router config annotation above the app router class. And secondly, add part keyword followed by the file name with gr in between. For example, this file called route.dat. So the file name provided after the part keyword have to be route.gr.dat. If you did not follow this naming pattern, it will fail to generate. By the way, gr stands for generated route. Once you added both, we can now run the generate command. So in the terminal, run flutter pub run build runner build. Once the build command succeeded, you can see that a new file called route.gr.dat is created in the same directory. Now when you open the file, in the first line you can see that it says generated code do not modify by hand. So this file actually generated the underscore dollar app router abstract class with an empty pages map. This is because we have not added any routes. Now you can see that the compilation error is fixed. So in this get routes method is where we add all the routes for the Flutter app. In my project, I have created a home screen with simple UI and also a setting screen with simple UI. Now I will show you how to add these two screens into the get routes method. So as you can see, the get routes method takes a list of auto route. While the home and setting screens are type of stateful widget, which we cannot add the widget into the method directly. Again, we have to generate code to convert the widget to auto route. To do that, add route page annotation above the widget class. So I have home and setting screens, so I will add the annotation on both widget class. Coming back to our route.dat, make sure you import the screens into this file. Then inside the get routes method list, we can now create auto route object for each screens. So here you might wonder what is home route and setting route which causes compilation error too. This is because we added the annotation above each widget class, but we have not generated the code. You can also set which screen as initial by the initial boolean parameter in the auto route object. Now let's run again the build command. Now it's succeeded and when you open the route.gr.dat file, 
you can see that in the pages map, it generated a home route that will return home screen widget and a setting route that will return a setting screen widget. So there is a minor error here, which I forget to import material package. Make sure you add the material package tool in the route.dart file. Now coming to the route.dart file, you can see that the compilation error is fixed after the code generation. As of now, we have completed routes generation. Now back to our main.dart file, in order to use the routes in Flutter app, in the app entry, we have to return material app.router. And in the router config parameter, we have to pass in the app router config. So above the build method, create an instance of app router class. Make sure you create this instance before the build method. Then pass in the app router.config in the router config parameter. Now let's run the Flutter app. So the first screen is the home page as I set the initial value to true. In this screen, there is an elevator button with empty function. Now I will show you how to navigate to setting screens. To navigate in auto route, we can use context.router.push method. Then pass in the destination auto route name, which is setting route. So this is how you push a new screen. Now in the setting screen, there is an elevated button too. Here, I will show you how to navigate back to the previous screen. To navigate back in the auto route, we can use contacts.router.back method. This method will pop the current route off from the list. Now, let's try out in the emulator. So, as you can see, when I click on the elevator button, the setting screen is pushed above the home screen. And if I click on the elevator button again, it will pop the setting screen. This is the basic navigation. What happens if you wanted to pass arguments or data while navigating between screens? Now I will show you how you can do that in auto route. It's fairly simple as everything is generated. For example, in my setting screen widget class, I will add a string parameter value. So in my home screen router push method, we can no longer push an empty setting route object. We have to pass the string value as well. So how do we make setting route object accepts the string value? Route page annotation got you covered on this. Whenever you add new parameters to the widget class, you just have to rerun the build command to regenerate the code. Now in the regenerated route.gr.dart file, you can see that in the setting route, it has added the title parameter automatically. So when we go back to the home screen router push method, we can now provide the title value in the setting route object. For example, I will pass in hello world string. So in the setting screen, I will display the argument passed from previous screen in a text widget. Now let's try out in the emulator. So as you can see when I click on the elevator button, the hello world string is passed to the new screen and displayed in the text widget below. In conclusion, this is how you navigate between screens with or without arguments using auto route package. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.